already seen an Anzimut 53 in the past. What are the guiding principles behind the design of this new model? Well, uh, volumes for sure is uh, the key words, uh, especially when uh, you, you, you develop a 53-footer boat. We have carefully studied our past models, uh, the experience that we gained from feedback of clients, uh, but uh, for sure it's not only a question of volumes for Azimut, but it is a question of design. How have you achieved this? beautiful mission. We decided to deepen and analyze the interior levels. First of all, the decision to go for a pod propulsion gives us the possibility to lower the engine and so to lower the center of gravity of the boat. And so we can play with more freedom with the floor. This gave us the possibility to have a unique uh, big uh, main deck with only 30 centimeters in difference in height between uh, the uh, entrance and the forward part. This thanks also to the uh, work together with Alberto to make the side uh, glasses more vertical and huge, uh, working on the structure and reducing the pillars, uh, give us not only space but also a bigger perception uh, of light and a view. Uh, this enhances the space we achieved. Uh, in the same way, the pod uh, propulsion gives us uh, the opportunity to increase the lower deck space by moving uh, after the bulkhead that separates the engine room. And on top of the pod, we can also position the crew cabin. You mentioned pods. Of course, we're talking about the Volvo IPS system. What are the advantages of this particular propulsion package? As I explained, uh, first is the space, so you can have a better package and accommodation. But that's the, the, not the only advantage. You have a big advantage in terms of maneuverability and comfort, and uh, for sure efficiency. Uh, the boat is uh, fitted and will be fitted with the IPS 950 that uh, will guarantee a 27 knots of cruise speed and uh, top speed over 30 knots. Going back to the exterior design, uh, larger interior volumes can sometimes lead to a chunky looking boat. So how have you managed to maintain the sleek exterior profile? Well, indeed, there are some uh, design tricks uh, and uh, Machini is very, uh, very capable in using them in the best way possible. Uh, if you look carefully to the, to the yacht, uh, you can see that uh, the shear line of the yacht, if you look at it uh, from the profile view, is uh, slightly sloping upwards. And uh, if you look carefully to the profile again, you can see that uh, the side windows uh, is uh, uh, running uh, from aft to the bow without interruption. And even the flash room plates with on, on the 78 are a bit larger. Here on this yacht are uh, thinner. Why it's working? It's working well because uh, uh, you are creating a horizontal sections that are interrupting uh, uh, the volumes, the side volumes of the yacht. That is really what is making a difference in uh, giving uh, uh, a, a sleek lines, a sleek appearance to the yacht uh, and so this is how you make a 53 foot yacht uh, being very eye-catching. Let's take a closer look at some of the uh, exterior details, starting indeed with the fly deck. Okay, so the layout of the fly deck uh, is uh, structured uh, with uh, the dining area which is uh, located in the aft part, uh, but it's not the regular dining area, so you, you have the option of having a, a table which is high-low, so you can lower it down and uh, you can create a, a beautiful lounge area with a coffee table. Uh, then of course you've got your bar cabinet and then the sunbed area, it is uh, forward in the bow, all around the wheelhouse. What about the other exterior areas, such as the foredeck and the cockpit? Well, in the foredeck uh, you have a sun bathing area for uh, three people, so very large in size, as well as a, a comfortable uh, sofa which is forward facing. But the true, true innovation lays in the cockpit. In the cockpit uh, you can find a very comfortable L-shaped bench, and this is uh, thanks to the fact that uh, we have designed the one only stairway connecting the aft platform to the cockpit. And uh, thanks to this solution, you can have uh, a direct access uh, from the aft platform directly to the crew cabin or the toy room as you prefer. So it's a great innovation that it is improving the way you can live on board uh, a 53 footer, even uh, if you have a captain. You mentioned the captain, but this particular model is designed principally as an owner captain's boat. How has that influenced the interior arrangement? Well, in order to be very practical, 
uh, we have decided to place the galley uh, directly at the entrance. Uh, in this way it's uh, much more easy to serve uh, both the interior and the external dining area. Uh, second of all, uh, we have created a sort of a continuity between the cabinet of the galley and uh, uh, the outdoor cabinet in the cockpit. Um, what about the interiors? Uh, when you uh, access inside the boat, uh, you are amazed uh, by uh, the full view out and this is due to the fact that we paid attention in order to put uh, the full height cabinet uh, just uh, exactly at the entry on port side and on starboard side and then all the rest uh, is a full view out. I'd like to go back to a point you made earlier about the Volvo Penta IPS propulsion system and how it saves space on board. How has that affected the lower deck arrangement in particular? We achieved uh, to enlarge the lower deck but over uh, two feet. That is uh, a big amount for uh, a 53 footer, considering the possibility to move after the bulkhead and the vertical bow. Uh, these uh, make possible uh, a very comfortable layout with a guest cabin with uh, twin beds, uh, with a master cabin with a real uh, walk-in uh, wardrobe and with uh, um, additional uh, storage cabinet in the lobby. Thank you gentlemen for your contribution. I think you'll agree that the Adsman 53 is uh, a well-balanced boat, ideal for families with a charm all of its own. And one final point which is worth making is that the name is slightly misleading because in actual fact the overall length is almost 55 feet with a beam of nearly 5 meters and that's over 16 feet.